right, switch to live chat. Hello, loafers. Setting my timer for three hours. Turning off my volume on my phone. Because that's not weird. Hey, Beat. <clears throat> so I'm looking to play Control for around three hours. We'll see where we get, uh, but no more than three hours. So. When last we left, okay, I don't remember where we ended up. <laughs> Let's take a look. Oh yeah, uh, we, I had almost finished cleaning out that clog. Yeah, uh, Alex has off from school today, so I am home with Alex. And that means I could stream quite a bit earlier, so... That, that works out. Yeah, I, I've seen, I accidentally spoiled something for myself. Um, that, say whatever you want about this game. It is beautiful. And we are going to see things happen in this game that I have not seen done well visually in a game like ever. And uh, there's going to be a point where <laughs> I'm going to turn off the copyright, like remove copyrighted music from it and because in order to get the full effect of a certain section in this game, you have to hear the music. Yeah, I took a look, and there's a switch somewhere that I am just not seeing, and I kind of feel like an idiot. Uh, so... I don't even remember how to get to the power station now to clean out that clog. Blah. I think we have to go th through. Or we. Or. To the. Power plant and then go to the power station. That's what it is. Okay. fast travel to whoa to there I see red flashes of light? No, I did not. Okay. So let's take a look. So I need to... Whoa, shh. The elevator's this way, yeah? Okay, yeah. Uh, unintentional shortcut. Okay. Yeah, I... This, in about... Six to eight months, we're going to have fiber running in our neighborhood, and we are going to be signing up for fiber um, because buffering sucks. Okay, so theoretically, yes, this is where I want to be. Oh, God, I keep hitting the wrong buttons. I played a little bit more of Fallout, and... Uh, 
of course I got kind of turned around on the buttons because that's shit. And I kind of knew that was coming, so I guess I can't complain too much. Oh, wrong button. Ah! to focus on just one person and I really need to be focusing on a lot of different things here. Ah, oh, come on. You know, I'm really glad that I buffed up my launch skill because that has really come in handy. Alright, where are you, you scumbag? There you are. Oops, not what I wanted to do. Okay, I'm still hearing the music. Yep, there we go. Okay, and the music is finished. Excellent. So, I want to go this way and over. It's up here. And the door. Yeah, it's got to be. Yep. Okay. So now... got to be some kind of thing. Maybe I need to... Because I already turned that. Oh! Ah, jeez. Now I feel stupid because it dropped down, so I'm thinking that it... The clogs are here? get these other cookies. Yeah, now I feel really dumb. Because <laughs> it was the door that we couldn't get through for a while there. And yeah, so now that we got all that squared away, we can get through the door, which means we can go down here and take care of the clog. Well, thank goodness for that. So, oh, hey, Ralph. Yep, 
Yeah, that's uh, she kind of seems like that. Well, this is the particular outfit that I have for her right now, so. And I bet you they're going to come back, aren't they? I'm getting little red notifications that uh, there's enemies about. And... Alright. <laughs> nah, it's alright, Beat. Yeah, this is episode four, Ralph, so I mean, you can go back and watch the other ones. Her and some friends found a slide projector, they turned it on, and all hell broke loose. Um, and this organization called the Federal Bureau of Control, which handles these things, uh, kind of swept everything up, took her brother and she escaped. So now fast forward 10, 15 years later, she's an adult and she's finally found this Federal Bureau of Control building, but the thing is, when she was a child, a kind of a harmonic entity attached to her called what she calls Polaris. And it helped her find the building and sneak inside. Well, now that she's inside, the building's in complete lockdown because someone activated the slide projector again. And those creatures that were kind of ringed in red, they're like, I'm guessing they're an opposing harmonic being that has taken over people in the building and if it's allowed to escape the building it would take over the world so um, that's just like a really quick rundown I would recommend watching the previous videos to get the full thing or you can look it up on Wikipedia uh, to get a uh, even more concise synopsis but here we are Kind of hoping I can get up here without his attack. Director on deck. Yep, director on deck. Scumbag. Alright, I want to fast travel, and I want to fast travel back to ventilation. Because in uh, some of my readings of like uh, of the game, there's a point, and Ati mentions it. He says he's going on vacation. If we don't clear up these janitorial tasks that he has before he leaves for vacation, we can't get the assistant custodian outfit. And I, being a completist... Uh, really do want all the outfits, so... Ah, sh we're gonna have to clear this out again, aren't we? Or... To hell with it. Okay, nope, not them. doing that. Nope. Nope. Hi! Ah, crap. Seriously? You don't have another task? Ah.
And I'm pretty sure he's the being that created this building. And I'm very certain that he is the Finnish god of the sea and... <laughs> of the sea and uh, fishing. Alright, let's see if they're still out there. No, they will come back though. Of that I am sure. Hello, Lou! Yeah, here we go. There we go. Whoa! Gotta hit those things. There we go. You blow up over there. Can of suck it. <laughs> oh, shit. something. <laughs> Better heal up now. <laughs> uh, that could have gone better. Oh well. So it goes. Okay. Well, like you said, Beat, it's going to be a little while before we get another janitorial task. So... Let's go back to base here. What are our current... Ah, sh God, I keep doing that. I keep hitting the... <laughs> the button for... <sighs> Never mind. Anyway. <sighs> Missions. Those are the board countermeasures. Okay, I need to get... <sighs> Investigate the Xbox light ray object of power. I think we are going to go back and finish up the old boys club. So, let's do this. We need to get... Oh, hey! We've got ability points. Let's see, I can fling bodies for two. I kind of need to pump up my energy, but that's three. Health is three. <sighs> oh, 
man. All right. I hate to dither on this. Let's see. That's two. That's three. That's... Jesus, what? That's three. Melee is one. Shield is two. All right. I think we're going to... can launch basic enemies while their health is low. That sounds funny as hell. <sighs> Alright, we'll go for funny later. And I want to increase my shield. Alright. So, points are spent. All right. Hey, Mel. Oh, <laughs> I can't listen in. Hi, Mel. Derp. <laughs> Tell Mel I said hi, please. <laughs> uh, all right. I need to be... I need to be there. remember what we're supposed to do here. Remember getting up there and that being really kind of painful. Oh! This room, okay. So... That's right, I need to go through here. That glowing thing, that is a manifestation of Polaris. There must be another way to get into that door. Huh. Oh, that's right. I moved stuff out of the way, didn't I? Uh. Oh, wait. Okay. Sorry about that. Oh, there's that duck sound. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, there's an object of power that's a duck that we have to deal with, if I recall. Deal with 
Hey, girl. Yeah, my girl cat wants to sit on my lap. Honey, you need to make some choices. Here. There. Is that better? There you go. All right. Here are some ones that I don't want. That's uncommon. Am I being a snob about it? Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. But honestly, I've got... Oops. Yeah, I think we're done there. Alright. Okay. You let me hear. Any idea how to make it work? Okay, so there are configurations. Hello again, Director. It appears we have a new problem. We need to get the HRA machine working. I've replaced a couple of spark plugs, but this looks a bit more complicated. Darling must have had a system. Randomness isn't in his nature. The punch cards, the symbols, the terminals. How do they connect? I'll see what I can do. Okay, so there's a two. designs on them. Oh. So, we need to find all the punch cards. Yep, working on it. Let's see. Oops, there we go. Okay. So I have all the pump punch cards. Hey, Mimi! Okay. So... Upper floor? No? How about you mind your own damn business? I'm working. Step back. Jesus lady. Okay, so. You are number four. Well, let's take a look and see what we got here in collectibles. Uh, oh, geez, I got something from the hotline. sector, the Panopticon, is home to the altered items we find and contain. It is a maximum security prison. It's a vault for the most valuable treasures on Earth. It's a powder keg big enough to blow this world to dust. A temple, a place of worship filled with idols and angry gods. It's all of these, and none of them. It's something more profound. Unbelievable. Unknowable. Something worse. Altered items. We've found many. They appear mundane, but nothing could be further from the truth. 
They are all powerful, dangerous. They press heavy on our minds because that's their nature. They've been altered because we can't stop thinking about them. We put them on altars because they're used to being worshipped. This keeps them calm. We contain them, but they don't want to be controlled. We study them to discover what makes them tick. If this place were ever breached, it would be chaos of biblical proportions. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, for those of you who are just watching now, there are altered items. These are items that have been imbued with what they call paranatural power. So like my ability to launch items at uh, junk and stuff at these hiss creatures came from an altered item that was bonded to me. Some of these items cannot be bonded and they have to contain them and keep them from being out in the world because they cause chaos and destruction of an unimaginable magnitude. I talked earlier about the uh, slide projector. That is an altered item that allowed a another entity from another dimension to come through. Um, these are incredibly dangerous items and that's what the Federal Bureau of Control does. They find, investigate, and contain these items. Yeah, that's uh, what I need to do when I get to another uh, fast travel point. And for those of you who haven't been watching this hotline, you see it says Trench in the upper left-hand corner. He was the previous director. We found his dead body, and for some reason, we can still register either his soul or his thoughts, but they are kind of focused through this hotline that we've kind of been bonded to. And he gives us information that a director should have. She is kind of being trained in trial by fire, but Trench's advice is helping her get a better understanding of what she needs to do. The director works for the board, which is something we'll get to when we get another communique from the board. Uh, I need to. It's not correspondence. It's not. It's got to be here. I want to take a look at these punch cards. If I can. They're not reports. It's not here. Oh, assets. No. Oh, I need to figure out. Oh, okay. Okay. So we've got five terminals. We know that terminal one should be that terminal four, which I believe that is, should be that. Okay, this is terminal four. Okay, and I know that Terminal 1 needs to have what looks like the radiation symbol in it. Okay. I need to find a 1. You are 3. You are 5. You are 1. You need to... So five should get that one. Okay, Looks so... Like he was working on something to do with these symbols. Shh! The adults are working. 
Alright. Uh, God, this lighting could be shittier. Five. Okay. You get that one. Okay, so two and three are the wild cards. Is there another white board? Yes, there is. Two and three should be... Two gets this cube. Two gets the cube. Two. And three gets just the square trapezoid. Okay, and three gets... Oh my god, I was just looking at three, for fuck's sake. Two, three. Or wait. Ah. What yeah, two, two gets the... Mean? Shut it. Okay. Theoretically... All right. <sighs> well, that was helpful. Darling's prototypes have a lot of issues. We need a new plan. We need more black rock prisms to make this machine work. Darling has another lab, down in the Black Rock Processing Site and Maintenance. That must be where he keeps the prisms. I've been to maintenance already. I can find my way. But how long will that take? Nothing here is simple. I need to ask her now, before I go. I need something from you first. What do you know about Dylan Faden? I knew this was coming. Hmm. <laughs> lives are at stake here, and we need this machine working to save those lives. Once that is done, Director Faden, then we can talk. She's right. As much as I don't want to admit it, I'm the only one who can help. Fine. I'll get the prisms first. Dylan will have to wait just a little longer. But don't call me Director. Jesse is fine. I'll call you Faden. Here, you'll need this keycard. Thanks. Emily Pope has set up a base and executive. Once I have the prism, I'll meet you there. Right. I'll move out immediately. And keep an eye out for Darling. Finding him might be the key to stopping the hiss. It's just one large scale HRA. It's there now. We are about to be exposed to a different kind of resonance. Arctic. Hostile, viral, invasive resonance. I think that's, that's what the Hedron resonance amplifiers are for. Taking the protection Hedron can provide us and keeping us from being wiped out. Trench knew about it. Oh, this must be the Black Rock facility. Oh, yeah, the thing to know is... This will lead back to Central Research. Oh, nice. Shortcut opened. Nice! Well, that's gonna save a crap load of time. Alright. I need to go to. Oh, Jesus. I keep doing that. Wrong button. I keep pushing the map button for Fallout. 
sorry. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this building is extra dimensional. It, 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 oh, jeez. It really doesn't make sense. Like the black rock f processing, or black rock portion of this, uh, you, you notice that there was like a night sky. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to the executive sector. keep saying that this game is like a combination of the X-Files, Twin Peaks, and I can't remember what the third thing I said it was like a combination of, but... Alright. Thanks. Good to be back. Pope wants us to compile all of Darling's data entries from the past month. She wants us to crack Darling's personal logs? He'll crucify us if he finds out. Who does she think she is, authorizing that kind of data breach? She must think he's hiding something. And I agree. The HRAs alone are proof Darling knew more than he let on. Yeah? Oh, I got more ability points? Holy crap. I did. That's three, and I can have the full boat. Okay, what are you? Shield Barrage. That's three. That means I can... Oh, I can throw the shielded objects that I pick up. You know what? I think I'm going to just go all out. Yep. I'm all in on launch. I have one point left over, which really doesn't get me anything, because that's three. I could... Uh, yeah, I really think I should save. Because energy is going to be the next thing. I mean, health is good, but... I'm going to need more energy. Yeah. Okay, astral constructs. Let's deal with our gun. Because now... Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to make... Okay, so I've got the new form. Okay, and now... I don't know, I kind of like that, but yeah. I'll change back. All right, so now we're done there. It's we're going to go here. We're going to deal with our <sighs> grip and spin. I don't have shatter yet, but I do have pierce now. Ridiculous. Oh, wait, 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 wait. 
I do that? Okay, so I do have Pierce Headshot Boost. Damage Boost. Pierce Aimed Fire Boost. Accuracy boost. You are speaking my language. Okay, so right now I've got spin. <clears throat> Excuse me, I got spin and pierce. I'm assuming pierce is like a basically a sniper type gun. I do have shatter? I didn't think I did. Oh, I do. I just, I'm not using it. And the shatter's the shotgun configuration. Oh, okay. I really wish we could have more than two configurations available at any given time. That is kind of a downer. All right, well. Can I... Oh, yeah. Sorry. Why? If this is a frequency, then why couldn't it vibrate molecules in order to alter... I need one more thing to upgrade. but I don't want common. Ammo refund. Well, that was fun. Sweet. Those are my weapon forms. Let's... Okay. I don't have... I didn't see what that ammo refund was for, but it was a level four. Okay, girl, I need you to get off. Oh, jeez, cat. Refund. It's for... I can't see. It's for... Sh exclusive to spin shatter. Okay. Okay, honey, I need you to get off my lap because I can't see the screen good enough to read. You are the most stubborn cat on the planet, and I swear to you, if you take my spot, we're going to have words. Yeah, I see you. I see exactly what you're doing, and it's not happening. Okay, so it's a three. Ammo refund chance to hit. Sure, why not? Ah. <sighs> 
All right. Uh, dodge efficiency. So that's 25. That's 29. Okay. So. Getting rid of that. Unimportant. You are a three. Let's see, that's 11, that's 12, so you can go. That's 10. Shield strength, that's pretty cool. Launch is 13, 12, that's 12, okay, so I don't have any threes for the pierce, which is fine. I just, I really need to be able to... Hair loss. Think about it. The precision that would require is unthinkable. Can I? No. I'm way far away from being able to upgrade this thing. <sighs> I need about... thousand before I can do that and I need more house memory all right well cool we boosted ourselves up pretty good we boosted our weapons yep you and I are gonna sit together then girl that's just the deal take my spot we're gonna get real close Okay, why is my video... I'm sorry, I'm looking at YouTube and... YouTube is just... Okay, I don't know if my YouTube is janked up or what's going on. What is my phone doing? Okay, there we go. Pull chat up. There we go. Whew. I do not have Stimpy. Okay, we need to talk to Emily, and Emily is here. Physical alterations in his corrupted organism vary so wildly. What's the connection? Hmm. Some more reports that she's put together? Interesting. All right, let's talk to Emily. Hi, Jesse. I keep finding traces of Darling, but still can't find him. Where could he be? 
but he's usually in his office in research or one of his labs. Dr. Darling has quite a few all around the bureau. Could be hiding in any one of them. I check myself, but I don't have access to most of them. Sounds like I touched a nerve. He didn't let you into his labs? Not all of them, no. Some had volatile material. It's ridiculous. I mean, this whole place is volatile material. <laughs> Could have at least thought of a more convincing lie. I mean, how can I work without access to all the data possible? This place has a bad habit of moving around, huh? So you notice the building shifts. Did you know that 39% of bureau accidents are caused by the shifts? It's hmm. true. I ran the numbers myself. So they're dangerous. Oh, very. At one time, a shark got shifted into a meeting room along with over 2,000 gallons of water. Oh, Jesus. It was a tiger shark, Darling's pet research project. <laughs> I forget what he was researching. How do people work here? <laughs> you said you're an assistant? Oh, it's just a title. I'm a scientist, a researcher. I work for Dr. Darling. See, when bureau agents go out in the field, the sites of altered world events, we study the materials, the altered items they bring back. It's always something we've never seen before. And studying them requires new instruments, methodology, sometimes entirely new fields of science. Emily really loves her job. See, there's no guidebook for what we do here. Everything that happens at the bureau, <laughs> including You're the not science, wrong, is without precedent. I do want to ask a quick question to you guys who are watching. Uh, is the volume loud enough for the people who are talking in the game? Is my voice louder than them? I guess, first question, can you hear the characters okay? Okay, all right. My voice is louder, okay. Uh, oops, no, that's not what I wanted. Uh, that's not what I wanted either. Uh, trying to remember which button okay okay I wasn't sure if I needed to adjust their volume but if you guys are saying it sounds pretty good I'll just make sure I try not to talk over them so what exactly is the Ocean View Motel that's a bigger question than you might think. You see, I have extreme doubts that the motel is a single place. I mean, look at all the doors inside it. Where do they all go? We know that one door leads to the oldest house, but how come we can only ever open that one door? Maybe to open a door, you have to have entered through it. So if every door leads to a different dimension, plane, reality, whatever you want to call it, then I believe that the motel is firm proof that parallel universes exist. Does Darling agree with that? I haven't told him yet. I'm waiting until I can prove it. Huh. What can you tell me about control points? They're nexus points of the oldest house's unique energies. Well, I wrote a 30-page proposal hypothesizing that we could siphon energy directly from them. Darling didn't even get through the first page before he turned it down. Right. And, uh, has anyone ever used them to teleport around? What? Uh, no. What, I mean, you mean physically? Uh, no, not that I've ever heard of. Why? Because that's how they work for me. What? Really? Oh my god. More tests. Let's hold off on the tests until later, okay? <laughs> okay. You know, it's just... Wow. I mean, this blows my control point theories right out of the water. I love it. Sploosh. All right. See you soon. Be careful out there. <laughs> All right. 
So just want to make sure I grabbed all of the folders in here because new ones appeared. So I'm going to do a walk around the perimeter. All right, and double check the table. Uh, okay, I need to uh, do species would verbalize the hiss resonance like human hosts do. I like listening to like the chatter between some of these different characters. All right, fast travel. We need to go to maintenance, and I think that's where we need to be. Well, hang on. Hopefully it comes back. Come on. All right, if video doesn't come back after this screen load, then I'm going to have to shut the game down. Marshall knows something about Dylan. Is he here? Is he all right? HRAs first. They'll help save everyone, including Dylan, once I find him. Can you keep him safe? Like you do with me? And she's talking to Polaris. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to shut this down. Yeah, sorry. I don't know what's going on here. Uh, I'm going to stop the game and start it back up. I'm going to call it uh, episode 4.5 and we'll pick up immediately where we left off. I still plan on gaming for just about two more hours. So uh, hang tight. I will start a new, start a new game and uh, we'll be right back. Okay.